in this class, we shall see how we can relate the solution of fixed point problem to that of solution of an equation of the form f of x is equal to 0. So, let us consider the following equation which is given to us namely f of x is equal to x cubed plus 4 x square minus 10 equal to 0 in the interval say 1 2. I observe that f at 1 is negative and f at 2 is positive. So, there is a root p of f of x in this interval 1 to 2. Of course, we know some methods by means of which we can obtain this root numerically namely bisection method, Newton-Raphson method, secant method and regular falsi method are the methods that we already have learnt of which the bisection method and the secant method belong to the class of enclosure methods. Let us now relate the root finding problem to that of fixed point iteration problem. So, if I have to connect this root finding problem to that of fixed point iteration problem, then I must write this f of x in the form g of x is equal to x for x in the interval 1 to 2. If I am able to do that, then I have a fixed point problem and I should be able to determine a fixed point p for this function and if that is p, then I should be able to relate that p with a root of the equation f of x is equal to 0. Can this be done is the question and we try to answer this question. So, let us see in what way we can express f of x given by this as g of x is equal to x. Say I can do it as follows, namely I can take g of x to be equal to x minus x cubed minus 4 x square plus 10. All right. g of x is equal to x, why the rest of the terms is f of x and that is 0. So, this is one way in which I can write down g of x is equal to x. So, this gives me g of x as x because f of x is 0. Then I can also write it in the form, maybe I shall call this as g 1 of x. The first form in which I can write f of x equal to 0 as g 1 of x is equal to x. Then secondly I consider the form x is equal to say g 2 of x and that is 10 by x minus 4 x raised to the power of half. I can also write this equation in another form namely x is equal to g phi of x which is x minus f of x by f dash of x. Why? f of x is 0. So, this term will be 0. So, x is equal to x. So, I take g phi of x to be x minus f of x by f dash of x. So, that is another form. So, of course, one can write f of x is equal to 0 in other different forms also. We have just presented five such forms when we look at the equation f of x is equal to 0. Each of these forms are written as g of x is equal to x for x in the interval 1 to 2. The question now is from among these forms which one 
should be chosen in such a way that we generate a sequence of iterates with that particular form and this sequence converges reliably and rapidly to a fixed point of the equation g of x is equal to x and that this gives us a root of the equation f of x is equal to 0. So, we try to answer this question. So, let us now consider the first form namely x is equal to g 1 of x given by x minus x cube minus 4 x square plus 10 for x in the interval 1 to 2. So, we now check whether this g satisfies the sufficient conditions for the existence and uniqueness of a fixed point for g. What is it? g must be a continuous function. Yes, it is a continuous function being a polynomial. The second condition states that g takes values in the interval 1 to 2. So, let us just find out what is g of 1. So, it is 1 minus 1 minus 4 plus 10 and that is 6 g at 2 it is going to be 2 minus 8 minus 16 plus 10 it is going to be minus 12 and therefore, we see that g of 1 is 6 and g of 2 is minus 12 and therefore, g does not take values in this interval 1 to 2. in the interval 1 to 2. And in addition, if you see what is g dashed of x, I have called this as g 1. So, I shall continue to denote it by g 1. What is modulus of g 1 dashed of x? It is modulus of 1 minus 3 x square minus 8 x and for x in this interval 1 to 2, this is going to be greater than 1. And so, we observe that modulus of g dashed of x is greater than 1, there again the condition of the theorem is not satisfied. But we know that those conditions are sufficient conditions. Therefore, there is no reason to expect convergence, although the fixed point theorem does not guarantee that the method must fail for this choice of g 1. So, we rule out this possibility and take up the second form and discuss. So, let us now consider the second form that we had taken. So, when x is equal to g 2 of x given by this in the interval 1 to 2, g 2 of 1 is root 6 and g 2 of 2 is 5 minus 8 to the power of half. So, not even a real number. So, g 2 does not map 1 2 into itself. So, there again there is no reason to expect that this method will converge. Let us move on to the next form namely x is equal to g 3 of x which is half of 10 minus x cubed to the power of half. So, let us find out g 3 dashed of x that is minus 3 by 4 x square into 10 minus x cubed power minus half. So, g 3 dashed of x is negative for all x in the interval 1 to 2. So, g 3 is strictly decreasing in that interval 1 to 2, but modulus of g 3 dashed of x is approximately 2.12 and that is less than or equal to k 
less than 1 therefore, fails on the interval 1.2. So, the condition that modulus of g dashed of x is less than or equal to k strictly less than 1 is not satisfied by this g 3 where in the interval 1 to 2. But let us now see if I start with a p naught in the interval 1 to 2 what happens to the successive iterates generated using p n equal to g of p n minus 1. I am just trying. I start with an initial point p naught which is the midpoint of the interval say 1.5 and use the method which is given by p n is equal to g 3 of p n minus 1 for n greater than or equal to 1. So, with p naught equal to 1.5 I find what p 1 which is g 3 of p naught I get p 1. Then with p 1 as this p 2 will be g 3 of p 1. So, I find p 2 and generate the successive iterates say I go on up to the 30th iteration. And I observe that correct to the desired degree of accuracy I am able to get the value of p at 30th iteration. So, I had started with 1.5 and I get a sequence of iterates and at the 30th iteration I have the value to be 1.36523013. So, this suggests that instead of considering the interval 1 to 2 with this form, I shall consider the interval 1 to 1.5 because p 30 is less than 1.5. So, if I consider the interval 1 to 1.5 instead of the interval 1 to 2, then I see some properties of the function g 3. On this interval 1 to 1.5, g 3 dashed of x is negative that is clear from here. So, g 3 is strictly decreasing. So, I have some information about g 3 that it is strictly decreasing where on the interval 1 to 1.5. So, if I consider g 3 at 1.5 then that is approximately 1.28 and that is greater than 1 and g 3 at 1.5 is less than or equal to g 3 of x that is less than or equal to g 3 at 1. Why? Because g 3 is strictly decreasing and what is g 3 at 1? It is 1.5. So, I observe that g 3 takes values in the interval 1 to 1.5 and Therefore, g maps the interval 1 to 1.5 into itself. In addition, modulus of g 3 dashed of x that is less than or equal to modulus of g 3 dashed at 1.5 and that is approximately 0 0.66 which is less than 1 in the interval 1 to 1.5. So, the conditions of fixed point theorem are satisfied by g 3 in the interval 1 to 1.5 and therefore, fixed point theorem confirms the convergence of the method p n equal to g 3 of p n minus 1 for n greater than or equal to 1 in the interval 1 to 1.5 where g 3 is given by half of 10 minus x cubed to the power of half. So, now let us consider the fourth form which is given by x is equal to g 4 of x which is 10 by 4 plus x to the power of half and see what happens in that case. So, let us consider the fourth form that we have taken namely x is equal to g 4 of x given by this in the interval 1 to 2. We observe that g 4 of 1 is square root of 2 which is greater than 1 and g 4 at 2 is less than 2. 
So, g takes values in the interval 1 to 2. In addition, we observe that modulus of g 4 dash of x is absolute value of minus 5 by root 10 into 4 plus x to the power of 3 by 2 and that is less than or equal to 5 by root 10 into 5 power 3 by 2 for x in the interval 1 to 2 and this is less than 0.15. So, there exists a k which is strictly less than 1 such that modulus of g 4 dashed of x is less than 1. So, the conditions of the fixed point theorem are satisfied by g 4 and therefore, the fixed point theorem confirms the convergence of the sequence of iterates if you take this form x is equal to g 4 of x. We also observe that modulus of g 4 dashed of x is less than 0.15 for this form and if you take x is equal to g 3 of x then modulus of g 3 dashed of x is 0.66 that is also less than 1, but here this is much smaller than what appears here and therefore, if you take x is equal to g 4 of x and then use the method p n is equal to g of p n minus 1, then convergence will be much faster with x is equal to g 4 of x as compared to convergence with x is equal to g 3 of x. And finally, we will show that when we take this fifth form given by x is equal to g phi of x, then the convergence is very rapid and we will show why this happens later on. So, we shall consider an example and apply this fixed point iteration method and understand how the fixed point iteration method can be related to the root finding problem in the next class.